RV Thompson getting ready to head out for a month-long cruise 300 kilometers offshore to array instruments around Endeavour Ridge. The other thing that we're going to do actually on the way out to Endeavour is to install Wally 2. Wally's been out there for a year now and uh, Wally 2, the younger brother, has uh, got some upgrades and so we're going to switch them out and this is in the Barclay Canyon region. Uh, in an area where there's uh, quite extensive gas hydrates. We're also going to be installing a vertical profiler that is able to go 400 meters up through the water column from the seafloor to the surface of the ocean and really allow us to get access to uh, readings all the way through the water column uh, at a key location at the intersection between the continental shelf and the slope. We're having to run cables six kilometers in to be able to run power and internet into the Ridge Valley. We're going to do that at uh, incredible depths, more than 2,000 meters, and in a mountainous region with a lot of features on the bottom that we're going to have to avoid because that could be represent a danger to the cable if the cable hangs between two features. And this is going to do, be done with this baby here. Uh, we're going to have the big submersible rope post clamping on top of this system and then we connect the node. It should be intense, but uh, hopefully everything will go fine. This is definitely the most challenging things I've ever done before and uh, I'm looking forward to it. An instrument that we'll be deploying on this cruise called COVIS. Uh, COVIS stands for cabled observatory vent imaging sonar. And uh, what this instrument will do is use an acoustic technique to image the shape of hydrothermal vent plumes. And we'll also use an acoustic technique measure the flow rate out of these plumes uh, using a sonar processing technology called Doppler processing. It generates about uh, 30 to 40 gigabytes a day. The team that's assembled here uh, includes both the ship's crew, which is uh, around 20 people, plus another about 30 people that are coming on board uh, to actually do the, the work um, associated with installing these instruments. So this includes a team of eight from the uh, Canadian Scientific Submersible Facility that runs the ROV Ropos. Um, and then the remains are a combination of the communicators and technicians who are going to be both preparing the instrumentation for deployment at sea, um, but also uh, keeping in touch with the shore and communicating uh, exactly what we're doing real time so that everybody will be able to follow along on the cruise um, through our website at neptunecanada.ca.